to the Redline Productions proudly presents Today's To The Redline review was made possible in part by... Hey YouTube! Well today let's take a look at a vehicle that I've actually kind of been waiting to show you because just because this one uh, a lot of people actually still drive. This is a 2007 Toyota Corolla. Now for those of you who actually you know, know my channel have been following me, you know that uh, here at To The Red Line we don't like Corollas. But however we will give this Corolla a shot because this is actually the Corolla that we don't mind. Um, this is what is known as the ninth generation Corolla. First came out in 2003. Uh, 08 was the last mile year. 09 is when they replaced it with that putrid, horrid uh, 2000 and, or 10th generation Corolla. Now, the Corolla that I would personally like to get my hands on is an 05 to 06 XRS model because it had the Toyota Celica GTS's high revving engine from Yamaha. This particular one, unfortunately, is not an XRS because 06 was the last mile year. This one is an S model, which does look a lot better than the plebeian and boring looking LE and CE models. So, um, just because what the S gives you, the underbody spoilers, the fogs, the 15 inch alloy wheels, side rocker panels, spoiler in the back, the smoked headlights. Actually, I lied. The S gives you most of that stuff, except for the alloys and the rear spoiler. Um, you have to get some options to get it up with that stuff. But this particular one is kind of like a boring white color, but it does spice it up a little bit when you get the S model. The Corolla, what it is, is it's a, it's a commuter car, just like the Honda Civic. Uh, but this generation is much nicer than the current one. That's the one thing about it that we particularly don't mind here. And, uh, and they make a really good used car, especially in the used car market. You can find plenty of these in really good shape, just like this one. Coming to the interior, this uh, S model does come with a black interior, black cloth. I believe you could option it up with leather on LE models. And um, the S also gives you that three-spoke sporty steering wheel from the Toyota Celica. Coming inside, you also have some specific gauges that are for the S model, those white face gauges, which I don't know how I feel about them. They're a little, I'm a little indifferent to them. I prefer something that's electroluminescent. Here's the key, it's the old Toyota key. My dad's foreigner has a key just like that. I don't like that chime, but at least this is older Toyota as opposed to the current Corolla. Nothing too special with the engine, nothing like that. Just those familiar 1.8 Corollas always have. Uh, closing the door, you do have an automatic down only driver window there. It does not go up automatically. In terms of the rest of the interior, it's very old Toyota in here, which to say isn't bad. The materials are decent for this generation, especially for a compact. It's actually surprisingly all hard plastic, which it kind of looks soft plastic, but it's not. But it feels solid and it's grained nicely. You can see the airbag cover there. This one, you can see it dates back to 03. Steering wheel doesn't have any cruise or doesn't have any audio controls on it, but it does have your cruise control. It's the old Toyota cruise control, which they're still using it today. Simple manual climate controls, simple radio, just a CD player, no cassette player. Um, one thing I don't like are these things that kind of flop around when you open them. But the materials in here are much better than, uh, than, the, current, than the current Corolla. Leather wrap shifter here, four speed automatic. I would love to drive a manual. The one thing about the Corolla is there's no power port in there. Um, actually I lied, there is a power port in there. It's hidden by that cover which is coming up. Um, but this armrest here is still hard plastic, just like the current one. I didn't realize that. I thought this one at least had the soft touch armrest. I guess I was wrong. Um, the glove box is damped nicely, surprisingly, not lined with felt or anything. The door panels are all hard plastic. I was expecting this to be soft. I'm a little disappointed, but it is slightly soft right there. The materials in here are still better than the current Corolla, I have to admit, because the current Corolla, the door panels are all hard plastic, even where your elbows touch and everything like that. Coming to the back seat, the Corolla is on the larger side in, compared to other compact cars. Uh, the floor is pretty low. The cushion on the seat back is actually, on the seat bottom is actually pretty supportive. Closing the door, there's no storage or anything in here and it's all hard plastic. All hard plastic, the materials carry through. You do have a uh, nicer chrome door handles as opposed to the silver painted plastic. There's no uh, center armrest here on the Corolla. I'm not even sure the current one gives you that either. Now the trunk of this vehicle is pretty practical. You got a pretty large opening. Um, you do have hinges that uh, will crush your cargo, so you have to make sure you arrange your cargo properly. Your spare tire and whatnot is all underneath here. Underneath there with your jack and everything like that. So nothing too special about the trunk. And of course, here is the Corolla's slightly buzzy 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine. When, it, when the car first came out in 03, it was actually rated 120, a 30 horsepower. Re-rated to 126 when the SAE regulations changed on how they measure horsepower. Um, it moves the Corolla out decently well. It's a commuter car. What you buy this for is for gas mods. It's not the smoothest looking engine, but it has Toyota's 
patented, trademarked VVTi technology, whatnot. Really, the XRS with the six-speed is the one you'd want to test drive, as opposed to this one. All right, so for those of you who are looking for your first car, let's take a look at how this uh, Corolla drives, shall we? Typical Toyota starter noise. Now, I know, as much as I hate the, the Corolla, I can happily say that I will recommend this generation Corolla, especially an S model, to somebody who's looking for their first car. It's a very safe car. It's an easy car to drive. Um, the one thing about the car, and I haven't, uh, I haven't driven a Corolla in a while, is the car feels very narrow. Like the dash is really close to you. It's not very wide. I feel like a Civic gives you a more, uh, a bigger feeling of space from its twin tier dash and it's just longer uh, dash design. But the car actually is very easy to drive. Like I said, the engine does get a little bit buzzy when you're trying to accelerate, but this is a compact car and back then in 07, all of them pretty much had four speed automatics and you know, this is a little tiny 1.8 liter engine so I can't exactly expect it to be mind blowing in acceleration, but it's a refined enough engine. It actually has more torque than the engine in the Honda Civic. It's not as smooth though as, as the Civic and the higher revs, but surprisingly the steering is not bad. Um, the current Corolla is awful though compared to this. This thing actually div uh, is kind of playful in the steering, maybe because it's an S model Toyota tuned it a little bit better. The ride quality is okay. It's a little, uh, it's a little noisier than I expected a Toyota to be, but this is a Corolla. It's just amazing to me that the current Corolla is just so awful compared to this one. This one drives much better than the current Corolla, and I would happily recommend this car, especially um, since a lot of them actually are really cheap nowadays to buy in the used car market. But, I mean, uh, it's a reliable car. That's why you buy a Corolla. I know a lot of people tell me it's a, it's a transportation appliance. That's what you buy it for. I understand that. Um, and I don't mind this generation Corolla. Personally, from I think that you should steer clear of the current 2012 models because there's a lot of other choice on the market. But back in 07, this was competitive. So if you guys are in the market for a pre-owned, you know, compact sedan as your first car, maybe to get for your, your kids because they just got their license, I would happily recommend this generation Corolla. Just look for an S model, differentiate theirs from the, the boring looking LE and C. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I will catch you guys later. Yeah, here's some legal stuff for you. The views and opinions expressed in the following video may not necessarily reflect those of the title holding automotive dealer or the entity they represent. All videos are filmed with permission by a professional driver on a set course with the collaboration and assistance of local law enforcement authorities. Do not attempt. Logos and brandings of vehicle manufacturers, dealerships, and online social media sites are the sole property of their respective representation used with permission. The two, the Redline logo, soundtrack, and web resources, as well as all of their associated media are copyrighted intellectual property of two, the Redline LLC. All rights reserved.